Hello viewers, I have just received the Xbox One and this is Forza 5, Forza Motorsport 5. Uh, I'm just going to start playing it. Let's play the first sort of 45 minutes or whatever on this video. See what happens, really. Get some first impressions. Welcome to Forza Motorsport 5. Cars. To some, they're just transport. A convenient alternative to highly flammable dirigibles or walking. But you, you understand, cars are far more than this. They are our history. They mark the moments by which we define decades. Cars are some of the most intoxicating, most beautiful things ever forged by mankind. They represent the glory of technology, the essence of freedom, and have been the weapons in some of our most gripping sporting battles. They grip us, they cheer us on, they hold us up as heroes. So this is about the love of all things, four-wheeled and fast. This is a shrine to power, to speed, to metal made beautiful. This is where right, dreams are driven. Welcome to Forza. Thank you, Mr. Clarkson. All right. What's going on? It's over, blah, 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 blah. Okay. No exploding marks of it. First little glimpse at how the loading times will be. Quite long, to be quite honest. Yeah, it's got nice loading pictures. Now is your chance to explore the McLaren P1 up close. Um, um, um. Okay. Open the door. Climb in. Start the car to begin the race.
about there. There we go. At least one country. At least one one. Now we've got an achievement. My first proper achievement. I did have the code for the day one edition which gives you an achievement. That race was only a taste of the journey ahead of you. As we continue, you will traverse an epic automotive Thank world you, full of fast cars, old rivalries, and new technology. Gotta be done. She makes a wicked cup of tea. Leagues are home to a wide variety of cars, oh, from vintage to sport video, to grand touring. Your career starts with the Modern Sport Compact Championship Series. But before you choose your car, let's learn more about the group from BBC's Top Gear. When in 2012, Mr. Toyota and Mrs. Subaru announced the arrival of their twins, GT86 and BRZ, the world rejoiced. Here were two cars designed not to save the planet, nor to take your entire extended family to the seaside in a modular lounge environment. No, they were designed to make you smile. They were small, lightweight, skinny tired, rear drive and affordable. This was the beginning of a new age for sporty motoring. Only it wasn't. If you looked hard enough, there have always been affordable cars designed to brighten up your day. Mazda especially is always provided for the enthusiastic driver. That's why it made the simple, wonderful MX-5 and the RX-8. The Honda S2000, meanwhile, is a complete screamer, and it's possible the same applies to the Hyundai Genesis. But I'm not sure, as it's only sold in Korea and the United States. Select your first car from this list and begin your career. Okay. This car will take you through some of the best racing really in the world. Any of the stats, so choose the car that go speaks to golf. you. Oh, so I can go for you. Just got me down. I used to work at Volkswagen. So. Mm. These are designs Jesus pulled Christ, from the cloud, recommended thing, just for you. As you use more designs, this list adapts to match your tastes. Okay, I know it's cheese. No, we can't go with cheese, can we? Let's go with that one for now. Is that free? This guy's free. Yeah, blah 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 blah. Get more um, credits as you play. This is your 2010 Volkswagen Golf R. This is your career home space. Come back here to access Forza Vista and okay. customize your cars. Your first career takes you on a journey to five of the world's great racing venues. Today, we venture to the, the snow-capped mountains of the Bernese Alps in Switzerland. There are no AI drivers. Using Drivatar technology, you are always racing against so real people with now? their real tendencies, delivered know, from the cloud. Oh yeah, I've got a few friends on there. Okay. Oh, okay, just do that. You 
will be paid bonus credits for taking on higher but skill drive -atars. Now, Turn up the difficulty to increase your earnings. Uh, we start a set of quints. I don't know why it was previously set. Assess. Why? This is a realistic simulation that features several assists to make driving approachable for everyone. Uh, In the assists menu, you can them. adjust these settings to experience the full depth of this simulation. So I want the in this line off. We'll put ABS on cars, but the ABS for drivers. Simulation steering, attaching control. Yeah, both of them are. Cars probably got it. Shifting. I'm going to have that on all my eggs. In fact, I'm using a joypad. And damaging all that on some patient. There's wheels in these cutscenes. How do I change camera? Oh, there we go. I'll stick with the in car cam. I don't know the fact you can drive it, I need to steer the wheel very slightly. Out that like forty degrees steering. Back end getting a bit loose. I mean, left and left out of two laps. It's nice to have a sixteen car fields again. Back and say again. I 
lighting effects aren't as bad as I thought they were. I've not seen them in other videos. Third two, whatever. It's bright, but you can still see through the through the light to see the direction the track's going. Stop listening. That's what happens when you stay Xbox mid race. Just remember in commentary that you would say Xbox. Oh, I've done it again. I must have used some kind of combination. First competitive race. Every time you race, you win credits and XP. Pretty may have been around credits right, help you buy new cars and upgrades. It's quite easy, but the few mistakes you make. Every time your driver you level increases, you are rewarded with bonus credits. Money and XP, just what we need. What's going on now? Your drive avatar is collecting data on how you race, how you pass, and how you hit each apex. After a few races, your drive avatar will be ready to go out into the community okay. and race on your behalf. So basically, if driver tires go, probably have three or four races to get synced. Um, what's the white button do? Okay, use some sort of bonuses to get, get through the game quicker, basically. Today, we travel to Dunsfold, England, home of the hit TV show Top Gear and their famous Top Gear test track. It's not a track, it's a bloody airport. Welcome to London, one of the greatest cities on earth, where millions of tourists flock every year. Using advanced modeling techniques and a large airfield in Surrey, we have constructed this perfectly accurate recreation of driving in England's historical capital. Construction signs, closed road lanes, rubbish bins, you'll have to avoid all these traditional London milestones in the Top Gear London Simulation Challenge. I bet there's not a cyclist in sight there. Okay, so let me... Oh, I've got 100 TK tanks, I guess they're... Probably worth quite a lot. I don't know if I can use them to buy cars or whatever on a later date. So. I'm going to use them until I get a good sense of what I can do. This reminds me most of um Belfast. I haven't done half a dozen of them. Really wins! It's really been mad this oh! We 
Lady Benz. So you can't use bumpers on at the top there to you'd think you'd be able to and also certain just realised I don't really like the bumper buttons. Bumper buttons feel like they're almost not made to be buttons. Just very Hard to click on with the inside of your finger. Almost use your fingertip to actually get it. But so, you should be a bit careful, a bit more careful, so I don't realize how much damage these wheelie bits are now doing.
Every time you level your car's manufacturer affinity level, 